This is episode 52 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just Ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. Today's subject is fear. Are we scared or does the media make us scared? How often do you get to work or get out with your friends or whatever and you, and the, and you guys walk up and the first thing is said, hey man, did you hear the good news? Exactly. Unless you're hanging around with a bunch of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, you're probably not hearing that too often. Usually, you know, maybe something good happened to those individuals, but if you're talking about the news, it's, oh my God, did you hear about that hurricane? Oh my God, ISIS, Zika, the Olympics, Ryan Lochte, negative, 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 scary, 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 scary. That's all you hear. But are we scared? Or do they make us scared? Are we walking the dog? Or is the dog walking us? I'm inclined to say that the media is scaring us, that we're not scared. But I think we're wired. I think the media knows exactly what they're doing because we're basically wired to react to fear over everything else. Why? Because we have thousands of years of evolution of running from saber-toothed tigers and dinosaurs and big-ass snakes and leopards and all kinds of crazy stuff that we don't have to run to any run from anymore, but we're still wired that way. Our lizard brain is designed that when we feel fear, fear for our physical safety, things shift like that. Our attention heightens, our heart rate goes up, we start shutting down blood flow to certain organs or to certain to our extremities because we need to make sure our organs are safe. Like our body is designed to when you're scared, boom, you react. So if you hear something scary on the news, you physically react to it. And if you physically react to it, you're going to be a lot more focused on it. On top of the fact that you're turning on the news to basically have them tell you what to think about. Does that make sense? You're not just going about your day going, oh, if something comes up, I'm going to think about it and do it. You're going, oh, I'm going to turn on this news. I'm going to give them the power to tell me What's important? And what does the news think is important? ISIS, Trump's medical record, Hillary passing out, or not passing out, stumbling, whatever you want to say, um, Zika, fracking, earthquakes. But they also do it with, not only are they stories kind of based on fear because nobody wants, nobody wants a president that's going to be sick. People, you know, the president dying in office, oil companies causing earthquakes, like all very intimidating, scary stuff. But they also spin it in a way that's like, it's like it's happening in your neighborhood. People were talking about Zika as if we're all going to get Zika in all over the United States and, and fracking is going to like split the country in two and it's going to be like, uh, what was that movie? San Andreas. Like that's what they make it sound like. Why do they do that? Because they know our psychology and they know that we're going to react to something that is scary more than we're going to react to anything else. You rarely hear positive stuff. Positive stuff is always at the end. Oh, and to end, oh, this heartwarming story of the, some dog and whatever. But it's always at the end. Why? Because you're not going to remember that, but you're going to leave feeling good about them. It's a bunch of crap, really. I don't watch the news. I glance at it sometimes just to see what's going on, but I'll glance at a bunch of different things. Because I don't know if you've also noticed, people that watch different news sources care about different things. Like if you watch MSNBC and CNN, you care about things pretty differently than if you watch Fox News. Like if you watch Fox News, you're, you're like immigration is like the end of the world. And that wall is like, we have to do it because they're going to invade us and take over our country. Other side, you're talking about Trump. Is he healthy? Is he not healthy? His taxes. 
you're here, you know, a lot about Russia and Trump's ties to Russia and, and why is he being so positive about with Putin and stuff like that. So no wonder when you come to like the social arena, when you come to an election and these guys are talking about this and these guys are talking about this and they're like, what the hell are you guys talking about? Why are you worried about that? That's stupid. You should be worried about this. And the other side's going, well, why are you worried about that? You should be worried about this. This is stupid. This is going to end our country. This is blah, 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 blah. No wonder we don't get together because we're feeding off of two different things. But they're both fear-based. We're scared that if Trump wins, it's the end of the United States. And the other side's scared that if Hillary wins, it's the end of the United States, which is a bunch of crap. The whole point of having checks and balances and all that stuff is so... uh you can be a president and be Trump or you can be president and be Hillary and nothing's going to collapse. So we can just calm down with that. But the media makes it sound like, oh my God, this is like the beginning of World War II and Trump's Hitler and we're going to, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but they're using fear because we know, they know that we react to fear. We're focusing on it and then we react to it because we're scared. There's a, uh, there's a really great quote in this new book by Robert Cialdini called Persuasion, and it says, the press may not be successful most of the time at telling us what to think, but they're very successful at telling us what to think about. And what happens is, like I said earlier, if focus is drawn to something, if attention is drawn to something, you deem it important because you're focusing on it. So it may not be important, but just the fact that you're focusing on it makes it important. Like I was saying with the news, you turn it on and you hear about this this hurricane. Oh my God, hurricane. What are we going to do? It's amazing. What are we going to do? When in reality, if you're like me, you live in San Francisco. Like as bad as I feel for the people in in Florida, it, like it doesn't really affect me, but I get all this, um, this emotions going and I build up and then all these things and all these feelings and stuff. And then because I'm focusing on something that I have no control over that I can't help with, what do you miss out with around your house or around your neighborhood or around your community? Like the stuff that directly affects you. So you put all your focus in this stuff that's like global and there's, there's nothing wrong with thinking globally and thinking big picture. But what are you neglecting by doing that? You know, I want you to think about this question and, and then I want you to do it. What would happen if you didn't watch the news for a week or two weeks? No news. Not at all. You can see what's trending on Twitter. You can hear about it at work or at school or wherever it is that you hear about stuff like that. The really big stuff that really affects you will probably be brought up. Anything big enough will get brought up because other, everybody will be talking about it. But what if you didn't log on to the news feed? What if you didn't turn on the nightly news? What if you didn't watch the news in the morning before you go to work? Get you, I mean, talk about the talk about the wrong stuff. All you see in the morning is like negative crap. That's how you start your day. That's just a whole other thing. That's how you start your day. And a lot of people watch news at the end before they go to bed. So you're bookending your day with like crap. Think about that because those chemicals are getting released in your body. Those images are going through your head. And that's what you're taking with you to start the day. And that's what you're taking with you to end the day. Not the healthiest approach, I don't think. But if you didn't pay attention to the news at all, one, you could focus your time on other stuff. You could work more. Spend more time with your kids. Spend more time with your friends. Spend more time with your wife or husband. But then you could also, maybe you notice some things that need to get done. Maybe you've been spending an hour worrying about flooding someplace else when you could, I don't know, fix something at your house that hasn't been fixed. Or you could help your kid with their homework. Or you could read a book that you've been wanting to read. Stuff like that. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not important to like know what's going on in the world. But I think we spend so much time on it. Like I think about, I think about my dad. My dad reads the paper in the morning, yet 99% of that stuff he heard on the news the night before. And 99% of the stuff he heard on the news the night before, he saw on the internet the afternoon before. But he just consumes news because that's what you do. You consume news. But what it does is it releases these endorphins because you're focusing on it and it scares you. So it's, it's, it's stimulating. So really what you're doing with the news is you're just, it's stimulating your senses. So you keep coming back to it. Oh, that's, that, that was stimulating. I watched the news last night. It scared the shit out of me. I'm going to go back to it. That's awesome. But you're not thinking, you're just like, well, why am I drawn to this? Like people don't think they just go, oh, I watch the news. It's six o'clock. I watch the news. It's five o'clock. I watch the news. 
It's in the morning. I'm buying the newspaper. Some over, way overpriced newspaper that gives me news that I already know. That's why the news company, newspaper companies are failing because they're, instead of figuring out a way to make news more um, applicable to its readers, they're just jacking up the price for those that are still uh, subscribing. Not real smart, but, you know, they're not asking my opinion, so. Just notice what the news is trying to do to you. I mean, and this kind of goes across across the board, but focus what the news is trying to do to you. They're trying to scare you because scaring you releases chemicals. It gets your attention. It gets you thinking, usually thinking whatever spin they want you to, to think. You're drawn to it and you come back for more and you're just think about like it's it's not it's not like the healthiest thing. So think about what the news is doing to you. Think about how they're manipulating you and think about how you're allowing them to manipulate you. Like watch the news today. And just pay attention to the wording that they use and stuff. And I really think, go, how does this apply to me? Hmm. And don't get me wrong. If you see flooding and you want to go jump on a plane and go out and help, that's totally different. That's you taking charge. But if you're just going to sit there and go, oh, man, that was poor people. You're not doing anything. You're missing something that you could be doing in your in your own home, in your own community. Getting all worked up over something that you have no control over that you're that you're not going to do anything about. It's really just a waste of time. They're using your emotions and your biology to pull you in and kind of hold you down with what they want you to focus on and think about. Are you a puppet? Are you a dog? You tell me. Try going without a week. Try going without two weeks. I promise you. One, you'll have a lot of extra time. And two, you'll be like, you'll turn it on two weeks later and you'll be like, they're still talking about half the same crap they were talking about two weeks ago. That's the news. That's what they do. They have these 24-hour news channels. There's really not 24 hours worth of crap to talk about. So they just make stuff up and they and they overemphasize stuff and they make it sound really scary and blah, blah, and all this crap. And we eat it up. We need to stop eating it up. We need to turn it off. All right? Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you are enjoying these episodes, please subscribe. Please share. Feedback. All that stuff's welcome. Again, if you want to do a dual podcast, you want to talk about family, relationships, drugs, alcohol, gambling, stress. Um, I would love to talk to some military people. What's it like coming back after doing some tours? What's it like being in the military what's it like how do you feel about these guys kneeling trying to show respect to you but still talk about the the issues and stuff that we're that we have in this country whatever you are going through even if it's not something that i brought up directly it's something that other people would love to hear because either they're going through it or they have a loved one that's going through it and discussions and sharing stuff is is something that really helps people Let's them know that they're not the only ones because you're never the only one. There are billions of people in this world all going through stuff just like you. But it's up to you to share your experience so they don't feel alone. All right? If you're interested, hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, comment section below. Hope you guys are having a great week. We got a big football week weekend this week. Every weekend is a big football weekend, you know? Um... Anyways, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And she was like, huh? and he was like, nah. and we was like, what?